Hello. Hi, is this Marion? Yes, it is. Hi, Marion. This is Graylin with Homebuyer for Cash. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, pretty good. I just got your form um, into our system that you went to our website about your yes. house on 33rd. So, uh, are, is this a good time to talk or do I need to yes, call you back? Is. Okay. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, just looking online, I, I noticed that you just bought this in October. So I was curious on why you're selling already. Uh, well, I, I'm a wholesaler. So first of all, let me just disclose that to you. I'm okay. a wholesaler and um, I'm working with an agent. So uh, so they have this house. Just They just bought this house. So they're obviously looking to sell it. Okay. And then they, you know, I'm like an agent for them as well. So they sent the property to me and I'm looking for a cash buyer who's going to be interested i got so, you mm -hmm. okay have, have, have you done wholesaling before yeah okay mm -hmm. so this is the so the realtor on this you're a realtor as well is that right um well, i mean i'm not licensed okay for my business um, yeah but i'm into whole you know buying houses from sure. sellers and also reselling them you know for cash i understand but the seller is a realtor yeah okay exactly. yeah. okay you know just based on this location what are you thinking all fixed up what is this house worth in your opinion well in my opinion i think 195. okay but i've looked at it, it it's in really good condition the only thing is uh the and the you know the owner the reason why the owner sold it was because he was moving out of town because he got a, a job offer out of town so he needed to like you know sell it asap mm. and um the only thing um about this house is he actually took his age back with him uh <laughs> everything else is in place everything else is intact inside is very good just few um maybe like nail holes in the wall that probably will be filled and that's it so okay it's pretty good yeah and when you say he took the HVAC with him you're not talking the entire HVAC system you're just talking the condenser outside the the AC or what uh-huh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's weird. <laughs> why, why, why would he take uh, yeah, that? Yeah, no, yeah, you know. But, you know, again, like, the, the when I spoke to the realtor, she had said to me that, you know, the re repair cost for even getting the HVAC would be between 12 and 15. Right. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, so what other repairs, in your opinion, are going to be needed? Uh, like I said, you know, not a lot. The house itself, inside, it's in good condition, you know, except for little like nail holes in the wall that needs to be filled and obviously you know just the paint job yeah. um carpet the most of the uh, flooring is hardwood and it's in a nice condition okay. uh, obviously you know carpets will need to be changed and things like that it's, but it's really nice yeah you know yeah gotcha yeah um just i don't know how old these pictures online are but um it looks like it needs a new roof definitely exterior painting and a lot of landscaping uh, removal and sprucing up. I, mean, I can send you the, the pictures that I have right now. Okay. Do you have like a Dropbox link or a Google link or something like that? No, I don't, but I can, you know, if I have your email, I can send what I have to you. Okay. And then, yeah. Yeah, I can text that to you here shortly, but, you know, we, we wholesale a lot of properties as well. Okay. But, you know, if, even if, if you're thinking it's worth 190 right that's mm -hmm. what you're saying mm -hmm. yeah you know usually cash buyers are going to want to be they want 25 percent equity typically in oklahoma city area which means 142.5 all in mm -hmm. and that's before any repairs or anything like that closing costs and all that kind of stuff so it seems like to make this work we would have to be closer to the one hundred thousand dollar mark yeah uh hmm. i don't i don't know i'm not sure if they're, they're going to be willing to i think the lowest that they're going to go on that would be like um maybe like 189. yeah then then that definitely wouldn't be a wholesale deal i mean no no cash buyer is going to do that unless it's a retail cash buyer wanting to live in it you know what i mean but nobody will buy that as an investment for that kind of money Okay, so how, how, so, you know, for, I understand that now, but for future reference, for what you guys buy, it will be like close to 100,000K, right? Yeah, I mean, we got to consider, so the, the house, 
I'm looking online. It's a three bed, one bath. Uh, mm -hmm. Does it have a garage at all? Yes, it does. Okay, attached or detached? Attached. Okay, uh, yeah, it's a one car. Okay, attached. Mm -hmm. And then, let's see, 1464, so almost 1500 square feet. Smaller mm -hmm. lot. Is the house vacant right now or are they still occupying it? It's vacant. Okay. And they're they're just moving out of state, is that what you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got you. So yeah, it, and that's a if that's a current picture online, which I'm not sure it is, you'll text me the current ones in a minute. But yes, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna it's, it's, see right now. I'm looking at it right now and it's it's really nice outside inside. It doesn't even look like they have any okay. repairs that needs to be done except obviously I know they're gonna wanna check sure. the carpet and all of that, yeah. Yeah, even if it was like if it had no repairs, which even brand new houses have repairs, but it, let's just say it had no repairs at all to make it for an investment. You know, any investor is going to want to have 25% equity at least, mm -hmm. especially in today's market, maybe four yeah. or five months ago, maybe we could squeeze out 80% to where it's just 20, 20% equity. You know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. um, even at 190 with no repairs at all, you know, mm -hmm. that puts us at 142.5, just with nothing, with no repairs, nothing. That's the price we would want to buy if it's like in perfect condition. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. uh, you know, for 1400 square foot, just doing like cosmetic repairs and that kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. we're still looking at probably 20,000, you know, not counting the HVAC. So when you count that, you know, it's probably closer to 30 to 35, mm -hmm. you know, so when you consider that, uh, with the lipstick kind of, kind of deal, but yeah, we would have to be in the hundred thousand dollar range just to even make that make sense. Whether we flipped it or kept it as a rental, we would still do the same renovations either way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know they probably won't go that low according to what you're saying. So, yeah. I mean, since they're a realtor, why don't they just list it? Yeah. Well, they don't want to, you know, for some reason. I mean, it just came um, in, into the market for them. So they're kind of like right now it's off market and they're just trying to kind of like, you know, see if they can get um, a cash buyer for it. Yeah. I, I guess you. eventually they're probably going to list it, you know, but, um... Yeah, I mean, if it was me, I would tell them to go ahead and do the, the final renovations that need to be done. Obviously, mm -hmm. when somebody, when you're looking for a retail buyer, they're going to want it moving ready. So you got to replace that HVAC um, yeah. and do the minor touch-ups that it might need. Then they can probably get top dollar. But, uh, you know, reaching out to investors, they're not even going to make their money back on what they paid, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just being honest with you, so. Um, so and I appreciate that. I really do. I sure. mean, can I keep it on my list of buyers, though? I of mean, course. Just, if I can, you know, just have a few, you know, uh, information as to, you know, what exactly you're looking for as a cash buyer, so that you know, when I do reach out to you, I know it's exactly what you want. Yeah, absolutely. I'll text you uh, the email that we like to get deals to, just so we keep them all okay. in one place. But yeah, we flip typically two or three houses every month and we usually buy and hold like at least one a month. And then we wholesale like, you know, 10 or so a month. So if you ever need help wholesaling a deal too, we've got every buyer there is nationwide, oh, okay. not just Oklahoma. So okay. we're probably one of the okay. biggest wholesalers in Oklahoma City area. So we can definitely okay. help you if you ever need help with that. But the price doesn't make sense too, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay, so for example, do you only deal in the Oklahoma area? No, we, we wholesale nationwide. I mean, we have okay, 18 deals in escrow right now uh, from okay. Indiana, Iowa, uh, a bunch in Oklahoma, several in Ohio. I mean, all over the country. Okay. You, you got okay. things other places or do you know of other, any, anything else? I mean, yeah, I mean, I also have people who send me properties from Tennessee. Okay. Yeah, yeah but again, like I said, you know, the, I'm just... I'm supposed to look for a cash buyer for them. Right. So, um, you know, so, you know, I, I, I reach out to cash buyer at, at, and I'm, at, you sound like a serious cash buyer to me. So, you know, cause you know, you reach out to people, sure. you know, every day, some are like serious, some are just, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, well, we'll... Take all of that. So when I do meet a, a serious one, I always like to keep them in my list and send, you know, whatever uh, leads I get and send it out to them and them, um, you know, absolutely. Yeah, so just to be totally upfront, so we wholesale nationwide. We only buy and hold in Oklahoma, anywhere in Oklahoma, not just the city. We own in like 12 different counties there. Um, but we'll also, um, we only flip in Oklahoma City, typically. Okay. I mean, we'll flip in some of the smaller towns too, if it makes sense. 
but um, mm-hmm. but wholesale will do anywhere. And we have a deal in Tennessee right now too. So, but yeah, if you need help wholesale on any of those out of state ones, let us know, or even in state because mm-hmm. we've got every buyer in Oklahoma City and all of Oklahoma too. But yeah, oh, okay. uh, as far as cash buyer goes, I mean, we will buy anything to flip and to keep as rentals, but we still want to have that 25% equity at the end of the day after everything. You know what I mean? Okay. So for, I, I just, I, I don't want to hold you up, but I have one question based on what you just said that if I do have, you know, um, properties maybe uh, out in Tennessee or maybe in Maryland, you know, I can send them to you and you can wholesale them. So how does that work? For me and you. Yeah, so we have it. We have two ways that we do it. So first of all, we want to make sure that you have a contract direct to the seller. That's the first thing. Okay. Now we've got two ways that we can help people wholesale. Uh, mm-hmm. One of which is since we do have over four million buyers nationwide, and we have done some in the DMV area as well, which is Maryland, mm-hmm. you know, area. We have to where we'll charge you twenty five percent of the fee, but we'll give you all the buyers right around that property. The skip trace okay. and everything that shows you the phone numbers and all, and you can call and try to try to uh, you know get it sold yourself. And we just charge twenty five percent for that because we give you the full list. Typically, that list is a couple hundred buyers right around that general area, right? Uh, okay. The second option is we'll completely sell it for you and do all the work for fifty percent. Mm-hmm. We just split it fifty fifty. Okay. So that's that's the two ways that we do it, and we do that nationwide. Uh, people, I mean, we do that every week for. for for people, other wholesalers, so okay. we can definitely help you that. The, what's the typical, um, so say you do a sale for 50 what's the typical amount, if you can, if you're able to put that in? I know it probably depends on what the sale of the, the cost of the property is, but what's like, you know, the general uh, percentage that you Like profit? Are you talking sorry. profit or what? Say that again, I'm sorry. Are you talking like the wholesale fee? Uh-huh, yes. Okay, yeah. Last year, our nationwide average was about 16000 our fee. Okay. Nationally, so. Um, but, okay. but again, it all comes down to it's got to be underwritten correctly initially before we even take it on, uh, you know, because we have some people that they lock them up too high, and mm-hmm. we don't want to even put that out there because it's our name on the line because we're known yeah. nationwide. So we won't even put that out there, but some people are adamant that they can probably sell it if we give them the buyers. So they'll okay. go the 25% route and we let them call the buyers themselves. Um, but okay. sometimes it's, it's, it's deals that we pass on because, uh, you know, if it's not, if it's not, you know, 75% ARV minus repairs minus your fee, then it's not mm-hmm. a deal to us to try to help mm-hmm. someone. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you know, yeah. that percentage varies nationwide, obviously. Some places mm-hmm. you may be, of course, in today's market, 75 is probably the highest, but some places like Ohio, we might have to buy 60% of the ARV minus repairs minus the fee. You know what I mean? It just depends yeah. where you're at across the country. Yeah. But 75 okay. is a good average. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can you please send me your information? Of I'm course. You know, I said I get deals every day. You know, some I'm able to, like, you know, some is good, you know, sometimes I'm, you know, it's a hard time looking for buyers who are willing to, you know, uh, buy at a certain, you know, uh, rate. So um, if you can send me your information, I'll really, really appreciate that. And then if anything comes along, I hope I'll be able to call you and um, maybe kind of like forward it to you and see what we can, you know, do. Yeah, of course. And I'll, and I'll text you my phone number too, because this is our acquisition line, um, just okay. so that you have that to move, okay. to, to use moving forward. But uh, what okay. was your last name, Marion? Ojo, Ojo. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, I'll text you my the email that we like to get deals sent to, and also okay. my uh, my phone number, so you don't have to call this acquisition line every time. Cool. Okay. All right. All right, Marion. Nice talking to you. I really have to get information. Same here. Thanks. No problem. We'll see you later. All right. Bye bye. She's a wholesaler, but hey, might be a JV opportunity.